and welcome back my name is Amul and you are watching TubeMint in this video I'm going to show you how to create a web application basically a blogging app with Django framework so in this process you are going to learn how Django works I'm pretty hopeful that you will be able to understand the, the MVC framework like Django how it works and how you can start creating applications with Django Django 3 or 2 uh, both are almost the same so let's get started so I assume that you already have your Python and Django installed if you haven't go ahead and watch my videos on my channel uh, on how to install Python pip virtual environment and Django on Windows and Ubuntu let's get started with Django so very first thing uh, once you have your Python virtual environment installed activated you simply go ahead and activate this way so source env that's the name of the virtual environment bin folder and then simply say activate now I've got few folders here I will change directory into pi box and here I've got few more but I don't need any of those let's quickly go ahead and create a Django admin pro Django project so to create any Django project we use Django admin command and then we say start project and then the name of the project in case if you do not have any idea about Django uh, commands you can simply type Django admin and hit enter and this is going to list all the commands that you can see here so we are going to use few of them like start project start app run server migration make migrations and migrate these are very common ones so let's get started so very first one is going to be django admin start project and then the name of the project so it's going to be blog demo and then hit enter and this has just created blog demo you can see here so we will change the directory to blog demo hit enter and you can see what it has created it just created another folder with the same name the project name so th this is going to hold uh, these files here these are basically configuration files for the project and this is manage.py this lets us basically run few more commands to create applications and manage application so let's quickly go ahead and have a look at this uh, project and I'm going to open this project in sublime text so this is what it creates initially when you start the project or when you create a Django project uh, this folder is basically the project folder and this is configura configuration folder with the same name and this also creates a manage.py and this lets us run few more commands so you simply go ahead and check the command that you can run with manage.py and these are few more commands that you can run with manage.py static files sessions and few uh, Django commands that you can run uh, content files and then uh, admin files admin commands okay so once that's done we are quickly going to run the server so let's quickly say run server okay so this says and this is where it's running the server so localhost 8000 go ahead and run it and it's running so Django project has been created let's quickly run this uh, manage.py migrate to migrate these uh, unapplied migrations so these are basically admin migration migration that needs to be done so python manage.py migrate and this is going to make sure that everything is perfect now okay once you run the server it creates few more 
files here so you can see this just created uh, db sqlite 3 and also created this pi cache that's basically for the applications now let's go ahead and quickly create um, a blogging app so I'm going to name it blog you can name whatever you want so in Django how it works you first create the project and then you keep creating the application and plugging and then you start plugging those application into the main project so this is what we're going to do first we'll cr create the app so it's going to be very simple you simply say Django admin start app and then the name of the application so I'm going to say blog as I told you before so I looks like I mistyped something here start here we go just have a look at this so this has just created the blog app here now let's go ahead and have a look so within this blog app we have a migrations folder init.py completely empty admin this is where we are going to register the models that will start appearing in the ad on the admin page then apps and this lets um, let us help uh, this helps us register this application into this con uh, Django project so this is the name that you can use to register this application once you have created the application go to the project settings file and just look for this uh, installed app section and just add this name of the application which is blog all right that's done now the very first thing we do we create the model okay then we go ahead and run the migration then we create the view then we create the route then we create the templates basically that's the view okay so this view is basically controller in other uh, MVC frameworks this is called controller this is obviously model and this template that directory we're going to create after uh, creating the view and URLs so let's get started with the model so I'm going to create three models for this pro uh, application so first one is going to be author and these are going to be classes and then after author I'm going to have category so this is also going to be class I'll work on it and the very last one going to be article so when uh, so this these models require to have oops we are in the views we need to be in the models here we are okay so we are creating the models we need to be in the models.py for this application so this model who has a class called model that we need to reference to or inherit basically so model dot model and this all of is going to be for all the models that we're going to create and these are basically going to be the classes oops so you simply say class okay now we will create the fields for each models so let's quickly go ahead and create the fields it's very simple so an author will have a name and that's going to be models dot character field okay and this also has a max length attribute so make sure you just give it any random number so I'm going to give it like 50 it's going to be enough for a name and this author is also going to have an email attribute 
so I'll simply say email is the same thing models and then dot and then the field name whatever it is email field character field text field integer boolean whatever it is foreign key whatever it is then I'm also going to have um, a text like uh, no attribute and this is going to be bio Oops. I think this one is right <laughs> here we go so I'm very bad at spelling so, okay so that's that seemed to be perfect for an author then we are quickly going to create the category category is going to be the same thing M uh, it's going to be character field 100 and uh, I think 100 is enough for um, category and then we definitely want to give it a name so cat uh, Gary and then I want to give it a description sort of thing to the category so M text so it's going to be uh, model text field so I can simply say description and here we go so that's all we need for these two models now these two models are going to be foreign keys for this article basically one to many relationship so we use foreign key field for one to many relationships so you will have a have a look at this in a moment so let's go ahead and create this uh, another uh, model field that is character field for the article that's going to be title then we're going to have an uh, after title I want to have image so image you can say thumbnail we can also give it a location to upload to and I want to keep it in images folder that's basically um, convention in Python or Django you will have to put the slash after every folder that or or, 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 or what do you call it uh, route here we are so then we need the text field here no attribute and I'm going to say content and then we are going to create two foreign fields uh, foreign keys field so M4 I'm using this sublime text this makes the Django uh, development very easy so you can see it here now here we need to give a the name of the attribute uh, the method sorry yeah models and here we say this is kind of mm, delete and we say models dot cast kid and then obviously we want to give it a name so author and I'm going to just copy it and paste it over here and then I'm going to say category and here I'm just going to copy it so that I do not misspell it here we go so that's how you create models for uh, Django apps these are very basic sort of models okay so that's it for now I'm quickly going to run the migrations so to run migration you simply go to this uh, terminal and you say make migrations and then the name of the blog uh, the app Django app so in our case it's blog so that's the basic command to make migration uh, so make sure you you don't have any misspelling here and just go ahead and click it hit enter so this just created three models if you want to have a look at migrations you can simply go here and have a look at here so this just created generated by Django 3.0 these are the models that it just created 
okay perfect so that's very quick now we need to migrate it now so we just created the migrations now we need to migrate it so just simply type python manage.py migrate and this is going to write everything okay perfect so apply all my uh, block content type sessions running migrations migrate I think we are done here now what I need to do is just clear the screen and I'm going to create a templates folder here okay before we do that I want to make sure you follow the process so once you have created the model sorry you ran the migrations then what we need to do we need to go ahead and create the controllers in other word or in Django uh, it's called views so let's go ahead and create the views so first of all we will go ahead and import the models that we just created so it's going to be from models and then import all the mod models that we uh, need so so we basically created article um, okay so I mistyped it Oops. here we go so we just imported the article models from here these are basically complementary to article okay here we go so we have everything available under this article once it's there we are going to create two views one for blog list and one for blog view or detailed blog that's what people call in Django here we go so I'm going to name it index so every view will have this uh, like attribute called request and then all the fields are under this article so we we have objects under article so we are going to simply say articles equal to article dot objects dot all and so you can see uh, this is a variable and we are taking everything from article and storing it here under articles now we can go ahead and uh, return and render the view so we haven't created the view yet so basically the template but we are quickly going to create after this so I'm going to name the blog list template index.html and oops and then we are going to pass everything to this page this article to this index.html via this uh, dictionary python dictionary very simple let's quickly go ahead and create another view and this view is going to be named single oops and this also going to have id attribute so that we can uh, retrieve or render specific one specific uh, article and i'm going to say it's single and here it's going to say get and here it's going to say id equal id and here it's going to be single and here it's going to be single single okay so that's the minimalist kind of view uh, so this is where you should get started now once it's done we are going to create URLs or routes so Python app doesn't come with like in diff, um, 
pre-created urls.py we will go ahead and create one file and name it as urls.py and then we will import this uh, path module from Django, Django URL so simply Django uh, we say urls and simply import path now we're going to create url patterns url patterns and simply say we will create two paths one for index page and other for single page so we'll say sing uh, path and then the index is going to be on the very home page so it's going to be uh, we will also need to import the views on this urls so from the blog from this current app import views then we will import index and then single for routes so you'll simply say views dot index and then you can give it a name and name will help us uh, create the links on the templates like anchor tag so this is going to be the uh, what do you call it URL or the slug for the specific uh, view okay here we go so I'm going to say name it index and almost it's going to be the same so I'm going to copy it and the only thing that needs to be changed single I'm also going to name it single okay the most most important thing is okay this uh, this is going to be for every ID so ID is going to be an integer some I'm talk we are talking about this ID which is under this single view and so that's what we are talking about now this view this urls.py will be imported in the project url so let's go ahead and do so now we will need one more uh, package called include and then we will include that app url oops here we go this is going to be on the home page so here we are and then we'll say include and this is going to be mm, this is kind of uh, you first go ahead and ah, you say blog.url so this is the app name then the this for this file so once it's there we simply need to create the um, templates so to create templates I'm going to say make the IR templates Oops. and this is going to create a templates folder here and within this folder I'm going to create a few files here not much I'm going to name it index and then single okay so this seems to be created here you can see here now this templates folder need to be added to the projects static files so I simply go ahead and scroll down okay templates this new templates folder needs to be added to this directory so simply go ahead and type os path dot join and base directory is already defined on this page on the very top and then you simply give the name of the your template folder so anything within this folder is going to be accessible from any application so you can see here base directory is already defined that's what we are going to use here now we can go ahead and test the app here so I'm simply going to say 
hello world okay so I'm going to run the server let's see if there's any any typo or something like that so there seems to be some typo here uh, cannot import name article so this you can see here <laughs> so that's under where is it um, blog dot pi so it's under uh, views me it's under views article look at this it's in views so now it's working let's go ahead and run it mm. there's something on article is not defined where Vsort index dot six that's under blog again uh, ooh. Ah. perfect here we go the, those are the typos so now you can see everything is working there are a few things that we need to do now we need to go ahead and create few blogs and then we can go ahead and render those um, blog objects so to do so we first need to go ahead and create the super user for our application so to create super user you simply say manage.py so python manage.py and then say create super user all one word hit enter and name it so i'm going to name it admin email is going to be admin.com password is going to be easiest hit enter okay so let's go ahead and run the server and if you go ahead and go to this slash admin you will have your admin page once you have created the super user but see you do not have access to those models those tables so what we need to go ahead and do when we will go to the applications folder and open it and then go to admins now here we need to register the models so before we start registering we need to import them so simply go ahead and say from dot dot means from the same directory models import and then the name of the model so we had author uh, cat query article here we go now to register you simply say admin dot strike register then the name of the model that you have just uh, imported now let's go ahead and make sure you do not do any typos <laughs> here you go and once you have registered here uh, registered your models within this admin.py if you go to this admin and just refresh it you will have your models in here now let's quickly go ahead and create uh, author first so author name is going to be tube mate email address is going to be admin at admin.com and here we need some data some content this is going to be enough okay so <laughs> All right, saved so we just created the author you see it it's not giving the name so we'll fix it in a moment then I'm going to create one herbs so basically these are going to be the this is going to be the category so category created now we need to go ahead and create an article but one thing before we start adding article you can see we have 
author created category created but we cannot upload images we can do upload it will be saved in images folder but we cannot render it unless we have pillow package so make sure you got pillow installed so to install pillow you simply say pip installed pillow hit enter oops typo install so i already have installed it okay you can see 6.2.1 but you need to install it if you haven't so there's one more thing that we need to do we need to go ahead and create a directory for for the media so it could be images videos anything so let's go ahead and go to this configuration folder and go to settings and quickly create static root and static url path so simply say no not static root and url media root and url so media url it's going to be very easy you simply say os dot path dot join and then you simply say base directory that we already have used Oops. what did i do here so you simply say base oh Oh, what's happening here okay then name of the folder that you want to create so we want to create media and then you say media URL yep so media URL going to be media okay now there's a one more thing and this is just for the uh, development for uh, what you call for production there is a totally different setting that you can find on this same page here we need this to make sure the media route is set to the base directory here we go so you simply go to project urls folder uh, sorry um, file and just add this to urls pattern and then add this to here just above above below doesn't matter but this has to be above the url patterns okay so that's done now we can go ahead and upload the images make just refresh it but we are not running the server okay so once the server is running we can go ahead and create our article so this is a very first post oops oops Django admin and here we can go ahead and import our image and select everything we need a little bit of content uh, this is going to be enough again <laughs> just take that one as well alrighty that seems to be enough okay article created successfully added successfully now if you just go back here to the uh, project directory you can see this just created a media folder and then images folder and then added this uh, image to this folder now we will quickly go ahead and create one more article second article from Django Oops. admin just pick one more random content select your author select the category 
save it and I think two are going to be enough but you see one thing here it's not showing the article titles it says object one and two it doesn't show the author name it says object one it doesn't show the category name it says object one so to fix it we have something here so go to um, app models and this is going to be a method so you simply say def str and then you say self this will start displaying the the name of the author so simply if you want to just display name email or bio whatever so just give it like that and this applies to every method that you have created let's go ahead and you name the name the category name and then we want to display the oops the title of the article so let's go ahead and do it. oops what did i do here we go now if you go to this uh, admin and go here it will start displaying this uh, these uh, name of the articles author name and look at that category name okay so that's everything is done now let's go ahead and start playing with the templates okay so let's go ahead and play with the templates so here we are in the index.html and i also got single.html so we have got everything here so articles this variable has all the objects of this article method like title uh, image content author and category okay so we are going to iterate through this um, where is the view uh, this variable that holds all the tables like all the article table like t article number one two three four whatever it is so for that we're going to use um, for in loop basically that's iterator so simply say django app i'm not going to style this application i just want to make things work and so i'm not going to style this application so basically i'm going to use for n and this is basically jinja template for python and this is by default in the Django framework so we are going to use for in loop and we will say article in articles oh what's that so this articles is coming from here index articles and this article is available to this uh, index.html so you can see we are just trying to iterate through the articles object with this variable article now i can go ahead and say so to view anything in jinja we'll simply use two curly brackets curly braces and now you can say article dot title dot image dot author dot content and this is going to be available to this uh, article this singular article variable now i'll make sure that i have uh, my server running let me quickly go ahead and bin oh, environment bin activate then go to pi and then oh, oops and go to blog demo 
Hmm, so Python manage.py run server. Okay, so let's go ahead and have a look if it's working. So you can see this is working. So now we can go ahead and quickly pull all the data from here. So I'm going to pull so here I'm going to say article dot author. Let me quickly copy this. I will have to type it many times. And then I can say category. So posted in and posted by. Okay. That's going to be available hopefully. Here we go. Now let's go ahead and pull the image. So for image we have uh, image.url. So article image.url and in the alt we're going to have or uh, uh, image uh, sorry article dot title then we're going to need the content so everything is going to be under p tag here we go okay so i'm going to say content perfect just refresh it and i've got everything here there's one more thing I want to make this clickable so that I can go to a, a specific post or article. So for that, we're going to use anchor tag and here is going to be the title. And in here, we're going to use URL. And then here comes the name of the uh, these URLs. So basically for single post we can use this name for index we can use index so here I'm going to say and this will be in quotes and then you can say article dot ID sorry and we will have that specific post okay so let's go ahead and have a look if it works so you can see here at the very bottom it, it displays the ID but we do not have anything here on the single dot uh, HTML so let's go ahead and copy everything not everything just yeah those are going to be enough and put it on single dot HTML but these everything can be automated with Jinja but this is just for uh, a demonstration so I'm not doing that so here we go now I want to change this article with single the single view that we have just created so here we go and ooh, some of them are not right like this one okay so single uh, go to views so we are using this single okay so this is all the ob article objects with id so we are using this single here now let's go ahead and refresh it and go to and you can see it's it working just fine the only thing seems to be uh, is that we haven't closed the h2 there's one more thing we can put something here and here I can say go back Here, 
here I have to say index if you remember so we are using this name this time so index will take you to this URL route path root or route whatever you call it okay looks like I uh, forgot to save it this seems to be fine so just refresh it okay here we go alrighty so that's it for this video if you have any questions suggestion please leave in the comment below and I'll be more than happy to answer it